You know what I find so fascinating? That I can actually wear this into a bank and that's the rules, right? Uh, do that when there's nothing on and they'll think that you are a robber and security will probably not let you in. Now that's not the topic of this video. This video is talking about what's new in a shortcut version 20.09.13. So let's dive straight into this video. If you are new to my channel, my name is James and I talk about using tech so that you can create greater impact in your life. Uh, in today's video, we will talk about Shortcut and what are some of the changes and new things that actually uh, will help you in using Shortcut for editing your video. The first change you'll notice in this version that you will have these six layouts over here. So it allows you to change from say the editing layout. You can go to the uh, effects layout like this. Or you can go to say the uh, color layout, which is actually very interesting. Ooh, all these lovely colors. Then it will help you to see the colors a little bit better as it's displayed on the screen. And then uh, you also have the uh, audio uh, layout as well. If you are doing audio editing on a shortcut. And then finally, this is the player where you want to see uh, what's on screen in the large form. Let's switch back over to the video editing layout. Now next, text HTML filter is no longer there. It's replaced with the uh, text rich or the rich text filter. And what the rich text filter allows you to do is that it allows you to make changes to your text right on the screen by changing, uh, say, the fonts, uh, by changing the sizes here. And I kind of like this uh, new text filter uh, since you can actually do things on the screen uh, directly. Next, you have the size, position, and rotate filter. So this filter has been co combined into one. Uh, it used to be called the size position filter. There's one, and then there is another filter called the rotate and scale filter. So this has been combined into one. However, if you have old projects that use the rotate and scale filter, you will be still be able to use that. It is kind of uh, hidden. And uh, finally, uh, the last major thing is actually this blur and pad. For example, here I have a video which is taken uh, vertically with the mobile phone. So you see that there will be these huge uh, black spaces on the left and on the right. With the blur and pad filter now, uh, it blurs out some of the background and makes it easy for you to create this uh, effect over here. So uh, all in, this is actually a good developments in shortcuts. I hope that this video has helped you, whether you're new to Shortcut or you've been using Shortcut for some time. Now, if you want to find out more, you can also check out my playlist here about all the different kinds of video tutorials on Shortcut. I also have a course and the link is in the description. You can check that out as well. And I also have courses on other video editors as well uh, in the same link. Until the next time, this is James.